Hello everybody and welcome back. This video here we're going to review some newer release Majorette. Alright, for now we got uh, some new release uh, Majorette. I did preview a few videos, uh, some more of their vintage stuff. Uh, a lot more desirable, highly more collectible. Um, this stuff here is pretty neat and I thought uh, we'd just take a, a quick glance at these. Um, anybody out there that likes the farm equipment. Um, there's lots of people out there that collect the tractors and stuff like that. Figured we'd uh, do a little review and uh, see what the quality's like on these. Adrep normally makes uh, pretty good stuff so let's open them up and have a look. Alright, first one up it's going to be the Farm Life Team. Um, these are all like I guess kind of the same series you could say. Majorette and they are kind of cool graphics. They are obviously metal and plastic. Um, all the same on the back. We just looked at. I don't know if these have a year on them. Can't see a year off the top here. I didn't purchase these um, that long ago, like a couple months probably. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, crack it open. All right, we got the model cracked open. Let's take a closer look. We'll start off with the trailer. Um, this is pretty much all plastic. I don't think there's anything metal about it. But uh, these were very inexpensive. These were only, um, I think they were a $4 model. So nothing overly expensive for what you're getting, but um, pretty cool. It does have opening feature, which is the rear tailgate for loading. Obviously that looks like a horse trailer to me. Very cool. Um, would have been nice to have like a little bit of a metal base, but for the price of these, I think you're gonna you're gonna see it in the tractor. And then we got this guy here. Pretty sweet. Lots of detailing. Farm 212. Really know what that means, but I'm not uh, huge into the farm equipment, but I do like the old tractors and stuff like that. Very neat. It's got uh, this a little crooked. There we go. So it's got some sort of, I don't really know, I'm guessing some sort of plowing feature. Um, but very cool. This does have rubber tires, which is quite surprising. And this is a all metal um, body on this. And actually uh, it does have a metal roof as well. But lots of detailing, you got the roll cage interior. Very cool. You got the rear piece here, obviously for attaching your trailer onto. Very cool. Um, these uh, lots of detailing. I mean, four bucks for this. This is a, a, a all metal body, um, and like I say, rubber tires. And the coolest feature of all is this four dollar model actually has some steering, which is pretty neat. I mean, it's very very basic steering. But you're getting this for four bucks. It's, it's pretty decent for when it comes to tractors. Um, now I'm no expert at like how much this is, you know, replicating the one to one scale. But I would say um, just for a display purpose, uh, even kids that want to play with these toys, uh, it's pretty cool to have a metal body, rubber tires, plastic base. It's a uh, it's a pretty nice uh, pretty nice truck. There you go. You got uh, some information on the back. Germany. Absolutely stunning. It's got fenders on it. It's just just tons and tons of detailing um, for to me a very small price for what you're getting. I won't worry about taking a look at all the packaging. They're all the same for all the vehicles. Um, basically, I believe by looking at these, all the tractors are the same possibly besides different colors but we'll definitely take a look at that so again you get a little I guess haying tr um, wagon but it does have an opening feature which is cool um, it's an all metal yeah, plastic tires basic but not too bad and then the tractor so yeah it appears to be basically the exact same farm 12 or sorry 212 but uh, still really cool. Um, nice in the green. I prefer the green over the uh, the red, but 
kind of like a John Deere sort of, but very, very cool. Like I say, fairly heavy, um, all metal body, metal roof, and rubber tires with steering. I thought that was a pretty sweet little little set. Um, these uh, went really fast. These were just at the local dollar store. These um, went very quick at the local dollar store. So like I said, I think they're about four bucks. I'm not even sure if you can get them anymore. All right, and the last one up here. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the trailer first. This one here I thought was kind of neat. It's just a sticker, but obviously a milk hauler. Very cool. Sticker is on there. Half fast, but that's pretty cool. I mean, kids would enjoy uh, hauling this around. It's a neat little, neat little trailer again, all plastic. Very cool. And then again, we got the same tractor. Uh, this one's done in orange. Again, steering, all the same detailing. Nothing's really changed with it. Just that you get uh, different color tractor. These were the only three models that they offered. Um, I picked them up just to uh, kind of display. I really don't care about the trailer personally, um, but for kids that would be definitely be cool. I just want to display these with the different colors. That's what I bought them for. $4 for a tractor with nice detail, rubber tires. Sure, there's some plastic, and I mean, trust me, um, I mean, I'm not an expert at the tractor stuff, but uh, I mean, I've been collecting for a long time and tractors hold a, a very significant value and they're mostly all metal and tons of detailing with working parts and so on. So um, I'm not going to say this is going to compare to the high-end brands by any mean, but for $4 for someone that maybe, you know, can't afford the $200 tractors or the $50 tractors, um, this is a great alternative for them. Um, you know, it's all about collecting, having fun, um, and enjoying it. And I don't think that uh, your price point should always uh, hold you back from at least getting uh, toys you want, or even young kids that want to collect diecast should be able to uh, to pick them up. And I think this is a a perfect starter set for starting to get into collecting diecasts, or just simply driving these around and you know playing farm all day. But um, like I say, in Canada anyway, your dollar stores, these were available. I know when I picked these up, they had a ton, and I, when I've been back there, I haven't seen any. So um, I would assume they sold out uh, pretty fast. I don't know why the dollar store got them. They sometimes get random stuff like this, and it sells, and it's gone. But um, maybe these were listed somewhere else, and they didn't sell very well. Here in Canada, we don't really have Majorette. Um, in the States, you can buy it. But here in Canada, like you can't get this at Walmart, Toys R Us, or anything like that. So it was, uh, it was pretty cool to see. But I just thought I'd share that with you. So again, if um, you know somebody wants to get into collecting, likes farms, trucks, and uh, you know tractors, stuff like that, wants to not spend a ton of money, this is a uh, this is an awesome option for you if you can find them. So thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Bye.